Good evening. Over the last two weeks, LISD has not covered itself in glory. Although Superintendent Roy's motives remain unclear and seem to have changed daily, his actions have managed to insult not only the President of the United States, but also patriots in our own community. He has brought ridicule upon LISD, provided fodder for comedians, and reinforced the stereotype that the South in general, and Texas in particular, are hopelessly backward. It seems to me a sad reflection not on our president, but upon the partisan hostilities that have invaded our school administration, that written rules are now necessary governing when and how politicians and candidates for office can address any student in LISD or use LISD facilities to promote their points of view. We can no longer trust such decisions to the arbitrary whims of one man or to the vagaries of partisanship. Clearly, no future president can be allowed to address our students, for to do so would signal partisan favoritism or even suggest that our current president was silenced because of his race. But what about the state and national representatives and senators who have in the past participated in classroom forums or school-wide assemblies? I believe that these activities, too, must be banned in LISD. Furthermore, LISD facilities should no longer be made available for partisan gatherings such as the recent town hall meeting held at Marcus High School by Representative Michael Burgess. Yeah. Four, if some parents have successfully claimed the right to stifle messages from elected officials with whom they disagree, then all school patrons have that right. Hence, ending access to our school children and our facilities by any office holder. I'm not saying that this state of affairs is best for our country. We used to say in this country that hearing many points of view is vital for a democratic society to function, and that a proper education involves exposure to a variety of ideas. Unfortunately, that approach is no longer respected. Instead, people are demonized and shouted down for expressing alternative views and if that doesn't work, then they are silenced because of logistics. Okay, then. Fair play requires that. Ma'am, oh. ma your three minutes is up. Thank you.